So I've been playing recently on my Necro after reaching level 100 on the Rogue, and you can see I'm actually level 62. This is the class that you all picked, and at level 62, I'm starting to go into World Tier 4 and actually clear content, which is pretty nice. I've been doing it since level 60, because at level 60, you could start to wear Ancestral gear. Now, a lot of you are actually at that point where you've beaten World Tier 3 and are starting to enter World Tier 4. A lot of you casual to semi-casual players uh, have put in, you know, tens of, a couple tens of hours of the game, and this is kind of where you're reaching. I want to note a few things that I am considering and a few things to avoid at this point because this is a huge point in the game where things start to get a little bit expensive, the levels start to become slower and slower, and you can get a big power increase if you play it right. So the first thing is when we get to level six, you can actually equip ancestral gear. And I've actually been searching and searching and searching for components to my build. And in fact, the only real components I've gotten to my build um, right now for the bone spear is the exact same duplicate legendary item. As you can see here, I got the uh, bone spear the splintering aspect here. It gives my bone spear vulnerable. And uh, well, I already had it, right? Granted, I have some higher rules now, but I already have it, and I'm really missing like three or four additional aspects that I could play on my rings, my amulet, and my offhand here, right? And I want to be very, very careful about this because, as I said, since the aspects are so rare, and for those of you that might be grinding all the way uh, from 1 to 62 with the campaign and all that stuff, hopefully you'll have a way more aspects than I will because I got to skip a little bit because you know I had a uh, big skip campaign I had the mount I had all this stuff working towards me and I have not been able to acquire as many aspects but you can see how few and far between they are so my recommendation is if you've already applied a couple aspects for the codex on your gear that's totally fine but to save your more rare aspects that you cannot find in the codex for when you actually unlock the ancestral pieces that actually have some decent substats okay this is very very important do not rush it too quickly because what you'll end up doing is replacing the gear very quickly so for example you, you can see i have a 787 item power sword which is a pretty high level sword but more importantly it's ancestral piece which typically at this item power it has to be ancestral and it has critical strike damage and critical strike damage with bone skills which is very very powerful in order for me to get a ton of extra critical strike damage on my skills because that's one of the main mechanics of the bone spear build so i have a really good sword and this is very unlikely for me to be replaced anytime soon and even if it is replaced it'll be a minor upgrade and so i can always save that minor upgrade for when i actually get that aspect back and so that's when you want to apply your aspect same thing applies to your gloves your rings etc here are my gloves i actually recently got an ancestral rare piece that i upgraded to five which has ranks of bone spear and critical strike chance you can see i re-rolled it before upgrading it to legendary because it's cheaper i have a full video on that as well and we're getting that bonus ranks to bonus spear and critical strike chance which is the most important things for my build and so now I would be willing to apply an ancestral piece uh, or a legendary aspect to this ancestral piece. And this applies to basically every slot. You can see here, helmet. I got an ancestral unique version, so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it. Do not start upgrading every single piece uh, in order for you to, you know, go ahead and save some of those resources. And more importantly, and this is far more importantly, applying your legendary aspects when you only have one. Uh, if you have multiple of them, then things kind of change. But when you only have one of them, it could be a huge, huge bummer applying an aspect then getting a massive upgrade in that ancestral category and then not having that aspect to replace it. And you're just kind of sitting there waiting for that aspect and who knows when it's going to come. You know, I've played several hours of this character already and I've gone through many nightmare dungeons and I still have yet to find some of the key components of my build. And eventually they will come but it could take quite some time, especially for characters uh, like the Necromancer who kind of really need some of the big aspects that they're gonna have. So just something that I thought I would put out there and help you all consider because a lot of you, as I said, are reaching this point in the game. And these are some things that you're really going to wanna consider as you start approaching those later levels because they do get tougher and tougher. And if you don't have a proper build, yes, you can be content, but you will struggle and Hopefully, you'll have a more fun time by getting those aspects properly applied. Thanks for watching.
I'll see you all for the next one.